Percentile ranking refers to the percentage of the population that falls below a given score. On this slide, there are three examples of percentile ranking. On the left is someone who's at the seventh percentile. This person scored above seven percent of the population. In the middle is someone who's at the fiftieth percentile. This person scored above fifty percent of the population. On the right is someone who's at the ninety-ninth percentile. Very impressive. This person scored above ninety-nine percent of the population. For our question, we are asked, in a normal distribution where the mean is 70 and the standard deviation is 12, what is the percentile ranking for the person who scored a 72? Our first step is to draw the picture so that you can visualize what's going on. Our mean is 70 and our value is 72. Notice that we've drawn two lines to our normal distribution. That divides the normal distribution into three areas. The area below the mean, we know that that's going to be 0 0.500, or half the population. The mean divides the distribution into two equal halves, half below, half above. To solve our problem, we're interested in the proportion of people, or percentage, that are below 72. So we need to know both area A, on the left, which is 0 0.500, and this area B, which is between 70 and 72. Once we can figure that out, we can solve the problem. At our next step, we need to find out how many standard deviations is 72 above 70. With that information, we'll go to the Z table to find out this particular area. The Z score tells us the number of standard deviations between a value and a mean. Our formula is value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Let's go ahead and solve the z-score for our particular problem. Help me fill out these boxes. What goes in the top left box? That's right, 72, our value. And in our top right box, the mean, 70. And what about the bottom box? Our standard deviation of 12. Okay, so 72 minus 70, that's 2 over 12. That comes out to be 0.1666, and it just keeps repeating onward. Our Z table goes to the hundreds place. So we'll go ahead and we'll round that to the hundreds place. That's going to be 0.17. What that tells us is that the distance between the mean of 70 and our value of 72 is at that is 0.17 of a standard deviation above the mean. Not very far away. Now we'll go to the z-table and find out this area between our mean and our value. At the back of your workbook, there are two different z-tables. We're interested in the z-table for the area between the mean and z. That's going to be this shaded area right here. Our z-score is 0.17. Notice that along the left are the z-scores to tenths place. It doesn't go to the hundreds place. And along the right, it goes to the hundreds place. Let's zoom in. So we want to know a z-score of 0.17. On the left, it goes to 0.1. Along the top, we want to find 0.07. So 0.17 and 0.07 turns out to be 0.17. Now we'll just go across, and we'll go down. And then this tells us the area between the mean and z. So for our distribution, the area between the mean of 70 and our value of 72, not quite drawn the scale, that area is 0.067. All right.
Our last step is to go ahead and just solve the problem using the information we found out. So here we are, a mean 70, our value 72. We know half the population is below the mean. It's going to be 0.500. And the proportion of the population between 70 and 72 is 0.067. Area A, area B, area C. Area C, that is going to be 3, 3, and 4. Okay, so half the population is below the mean. And notice that half the population is above the mean. That is the 0 0.067 and the 0 0.433 equals 0 0.500. Also, if we add up these three areas, they'll equal 1, which is the entire. Uh, population. Now to solve our problem, we're only interested in the people who are below 72. So just this area, the 0 0.500 and the 0 0.067. So we'll just need to add up those two values. 0 0.500 plus 0 0.067. That comes out to be 0.567. So that's a proportion. Between 0 and 1, it's 0.567 of the distribution. Percentile rankings and percentages, so we need to multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percentage. That comes out to be 56.7th percentile. Someone who earned a 72 is at the 56.7th percentile. They scored above 56.7% of the population.